it. It is showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening. This is Billy Harris in Los Angeles. Welcome. Go ahead, Billy. You can start. Hey, thanks, Joe. Action. Welcome to the fourth and final Red All Star Kitchen. It's our little cook along series with my two very good friends, the one and only Top Chef winner, Superstar Chef, Kristen Kish. Hi, Kristen. Woo! That would be you. You're very beautiful. Yes. Thank and, you very much. And Joel McHale, everybody, who is the little sidekick here tonight. Uh, joining us. It's been a very, very exciting week. Many of you are with us uh, when we started off last week with Anthony Anderson and Ron Sanchez. And right, then so what we're cooking tonight <laughs> is uh, first I'm grating some cheese. And uh, Kristen has some cheese right cheese now, everybody. All wrapped up. Oh, Billy, did you not finish? <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish. I'm so sorry. I fell asleep for a moment. <laughs> I can tell. The comedy stylings of Joel McHale, everybody. Thank you. As you can tell he's a crime scene kitchen on Fox. Yes, he's hosting a crime scene kitchen on Fox. Fast Foodies on True TV. Jeff Star on Fast Foodies on True TV. Yeah. Or we made a hot dog. Where, well. Billy, tell us about yourself and what we're doing today. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Kristen. The fourth one is always the most difficult, that's for sure. But that's okay. 
Um, anyway, thanks everyone for joining us. We have a bunch of people on Zoom here tonight. We are live streaming to Facebook Live, Twitter Live, YouTube Live. So we have people joining us uh, from all over the world. Billy, I know we, Billy, we cannot hear you. You can't? No. <laughs> can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> that again. Not what? Yeah, what? Thank you. I've been having the cocktails down in the uh, studio here. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, studio, he means the closet in his basement. I do mean the closet in the basement, and I will probably come out of it tonight. That was for you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Joel. Good night, everybody. Um, it's been a great week. We have Hugh Davies in Long Island laughing. We have Charlotte Boise in New York City. We are going to be making some ricotta and Parmesan nudi. That is a very sexy word. We're also going to be making the <laughs> monkey... Uh, cocktail uh, with our good friends from Monkey Shoulder momentarily. But before we get started, uh, this is an amazing organization. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars over the past 15 years started by our good friends Bono and Bobby Shrapp, Hugh Davies in Long Island from the Red Campaign. For all of you that are joining us for the first time or don't know about Red, you just wanted to hang out on a cool cook along. Um, we are going to talk to Hugh in New York City. Thank you, Hugh. Hi, Billy. Can you hear me okay? We can, love. Good evening. Um, first and foremost, thanks everyone for joining tonight. We're very excited uh, to be here for the You're season. You're welcome. Billy Harris, cook along. Thank you, Joel and Kristen in the kitchen. We love you for doing this. We're very grateful. Kristen, you've been a great supporter over the years of Red. Joel, welcome to the fam. Billy and Paul, Charlotte, thank you so much for all you've done. Uh, tonight's going to be great. Uh, we're very excited. We're very honored to have so many brilliant, talented people coming out and support Red. This is our 15th anniversary yeah. year, Red's a teenager. Uh, we have a new campaign underway. It's called Summer Rediscovered. Great stars. Great Where's show. Bono? Great, brilliant people. Pardon? <laughs> What's going on? No uh, Bono tonight, Joel. He couldn't make it. Time difference. Time, Time to go. And anyway, it's a fun, colorful campaign. Tonight's delicious. Uh, please join us. Go to red.org slash summer to find out more. Um, listen, it's all important. We're raising money to fight COVID. Um, I think many of us feel that here in the US, life is getting back to normal. And we want that to be the same for everyone. It was really cool that you wore your COVID outfit. You really dressed <laughs> up for this. <laughs> you, Billy or me? No, you. you. Oh, me. <laughs> You you said like I'm gonna go with the stretched out neck T-shirt tonight. You know, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, look at that! Now he's all down. Yeah. You know, a little tighter. Anyway, listen, we're very grateful. We've got generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They're tripling every ticket purchase. Going forward. Um, anyone who's feeling generous, you can donate. Red to org slash summer now. You'll see a donate button top right hand corner of the screen. Uh, finally, thanks to our supporter, Merck, who have helped make this whole series possible. We're, we're very grateful for that. So, Billy, without further ado, I will hand back to you in the, crew in the kitchen. Thank you so much. Okay. We are not ready for the kitchen yet, Joel and Kristen. And thank you, Hugh, because we definitely need a cocktail. Oh, yes. Oh. So, we are going to go to Charlotte Voicey in New York City, who's been with us in all these dinners and hundreds of other dinners. And we are going to make a beautiful monkey shoulder cocktail. I believe it's called Make It Monkey, and no monkeys were harmed or used during the making of this cocktail. Correct, Charlotte? That is correct. I can confirm all of the above. Thank you, Billy. Okay, uh, great. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, let's kick off with the cocktail. So we're going to make it monkey, and this is going to be a shaving Charlotte, cocktail. I don't see my book behind you, and I don't see Kristen's book either. Yeah, they're right here. They're right just behind me. <laughs> okay. you haven't, it's really nice book, Kristen's. It's beautifully made. It's Thank like you. a big cookbook. It's what's, a, what's it's it big, called? It's Kristen Kish Cookie Recipe the Techie. It's a great big book with lots of pictures. Fantastic. Yeah. I will add just it to my shelf. Just yeah. grab it Just grab it there. And that uh, Joel, Joel wrote this a, one? A, a quote on the back for me. I did. Yeah. We've, we've, I love we've, it. We've, Wonderful. We've, 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 it says, Kristen, make good food. Yeah. And it, and it has a really great insulting um, compliment. Yes. Yeah. Because this Sounds is like a great read. Excellent. We, we uh, had an a fabulous cocktail. That's what I say. Okay, great. So let's make the cocktail um, to go along with the book. So it's a shaking cocktail, so you need to grab your cocktail shaker. Hopefully you have one. And the first, very good, the first ingredient we're going to use is the most surprising one, an egg, okay? 
Now, if you guys are cooking along with Kirsten later, you will need an egg yolk. So for mm -hmm. this cocktail, we're going to use the egg whites. You see, everything works perfectly together. Yeah, so all you want to do is crack the egg, and we want the white to go into the cocktail shaker. Just Charlotte, the white. we pre-separated pre those because um, I have been injured before crying. <laughs> Well, that's fine. You're nice and prepared. I appreciate that. One egg yolk or two? This one, one egg white. Egg white. Not the yolk. The white bit. Not the yellow bit. <laughs> Kristen, are you keeping an eye on him? No, I got the top one. Yeah, I got the okay. top one. Yeah, I, got, I got that right. Ready to go. All right. Let's see if the whiskey is a little easier to handle, right? So, monkey shoulder. It's a delicious whiskey made for mixing. So, we're going to add this a one and a half ounces of monkey shoulder into the cocktail shaker. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good, monkey shoulder. Up. Monkey very shoulder good. in the yeah. thin. Uh, simple syrup. So this is just a uh, simple to make. It's equal parts sugar and water. So three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Okay, so measure that, pour it straight into the shaker. And then the same amount of lemon juice, and I'm sure that you guys have already pre-squeezed your lemons, but if you haven't, then you can grab a lemon and just measure out three quarter yeah. out of fresh lemon juice. Okay, go. it's gonna be about three quarters of a lemon. And anytime we use citrus in a cocktail, of course, we want to use fresh citrus because it tastes better, and that's what we're trying I to do. I have powdered lemon in mind, but whatever. Delicious cocktails. Don't listen to him. No powdered lemon, please. Okay. This Next is up is the red wine. So you can use red wine. You can use sweet vermouth, anything like that, whatever you have to hand. Three-quarter ounce, same amount, goes into the shaker. Okay. And then finally, we're going to add in four dashes of Angostura bitters. So just add that straight into the shaker. One, two, three, four. Make sure the wine is good. Okay. Four dashes of bitters. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part, right? Because this cocktail has the egg white in it, we're going to dry shake it, which means we're going to shake it without the ice. So just carefully close the cocktail shaker and give it a quick little shake. All right, Charlotte. You seem out of your mind, but okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. That just helps to start to emulsify the egg. What's going to happen if you put ice in there? What would happen to the egg white? Nothing bad. It just wouldn't be as fluffy. And we want to have a nice, soft cocktail. Okay? So once you've done that... Have you ever been in the kitchen before? Mine exploded. Why? Uh-oh. Okay. We'll just open it. I should have I put Pop Rocks in hers. Is that yeah. right? <laughs> But that's perfect, Joel, exactly. Yeah, just like the plan. Okay, then you open up your cocktail shaker and add the ice. Okay, so hopefully the people at home are having a little bit more success with this. They're okay. kicking ass. Now you have ice in your cocktail shaker. Everything's back to normal. Just give it a good shake. I that I sabotaged yours. That's okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Shaking it up a little bit. Yep. Can you hear the ice shaking? There's your cup. Black. All right. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to strain that into a regular glass, like an old-fashioned style glass, which already has ice in it, right? Okay. Fresh ice. Okay. And just strain the cocktail over the fresh ice. So much pressure, Charlotte. Well, you know, it's a, you've got to earn for your cocktails here. Okay. All right? This looks good. Okay. And then the final piece, right, you're going to take an orange and just cut off a peel. So the peel is just the skin of the orange. We don't need a slice, just a nice okay. peel. Okay. And this part, right, you're just going to hold the peel in your hand and spritz it on top of the cocktail. That'll allow the essential oils out of the orange on top of the drink. It'll make it smell good, which in turn will make it taste good. So wasn't that simple, everybody? The Make It Monkey, here's to a wonderful good. night. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm going to say cheers, too, because I have mine down here, which is delicious. Yum. This is really good. Yeah. Fantastic. No, it's extraordinarily good. Cheers, Sorry. everybody. Can we put the pineapple in? It's yeah. just for ambiance. Oh. 
That's Let's have a great making cocktails yeah. tonight, Joel. I see Big Mac, our friends in San Diego, who have been on every dinner making cocktails. I see uh, Bob and Carol Levy, super mentions of all time. There they are. Bob and Carol. Joel McHale's a big fan of your work. I see Kimberly Mosberg making cocktails. Kristen, our friend Moana, is joining us from Dijon, France right now. Say bye. According to a suspected gunman, according to officers, All right. So, everyone's a cocktail. We're gonna mute. We're gonna mute some people who are going to right now. Chris and Connor. Like <laughs> exactly. And it is time to cook the Parmesan nudie and get a little nudie if you want. Can we have a round of applause for uh, Charlotte. Oh, thank you That's very much. Applause for Charlotte. Uh, thank you, Charlotte. Delicious cocktail. Glenn Grant and Sons. That's right. Good plug, Joel. Glenn Gaynor, I see you making cocktails there. But now it is time for us to get in the kitchen. Kristen Kitch. Hello. Hello, love. With her. This is, uh, this is my job, um, cooking. I look, I'm just trying to give Joel a knife, which I, I might regret later, but we're going we're gonna to try. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, at home, Joel has a glove that he uses so he doesn't cut, his, cut himself. I've done it many times. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great home. Can you take this? <laughs> oh. So you know what? Like, I know a lot about Joel McHale. That is true. We spent we spent a lot of time together on fast foodies, and obviously now here. We grew up in the same uh, town in Florida, the same plan. Yeah, retirement home. Yeah, community. We're basically uh, cousins. Yep. So all right, so to our home. Okay, all right, Joel. I'm going to give you these. You're going to top uh, with the zucchini. You want to cut off this little hard piece, and then just the little what we call the peduncle. You cut that off, and then you're going to cut them into little wraps. Like cookies. I never knew it was called peduncle. Yeah. Wow. It's a, it's a thing. And then for the nudie, I think nudie, when you talk about homemade pasta and something that you, you don't often do at home, maybe, um, this is a really good entryway into homemade pasta because it doesn't take a big machine. You don't have to make this dough and then let it rest and make these big ribbons. You're literally just going to dump all these ingredients into a bowl. So we have grated Parmesan cheese. What is it called nudie? Because it's the inside of like a cheese ravioli. So it's a naked filling of a ravioli. No, cool. those Italians are so smart. Wow, that yeah. was, uh, just about the right size. That's fantastic. Okay, okay. so we have the cheese, um, ricotta cheese. So I do full fat because full fat equals full flavor. Mm. Um, take out the moisture. If it's too wet, you're going to have to add a little bit more flour. That's something you kind of like gauge at home. Okay, um, Bob and Carol. Yeah. <laughs> Bob and Carol. We love Bob and Carol. Oh, oh. Okay, great. Bob and Carol. Or Mike and Judy. Mike and Judy, you're in you're in Florida, so it's a little bit humid there. So you may need a little bit more flour. So regular flour, some lemon zest. Doesn't it look like a silly as plank, the heat miser in the Broadway version? What's a heat miser? Uh, heat miser in the Broadway version. Thank you, Joel, for aging me right now. I'm aging myself by the reference. Exactly. So I want to, this kind of was like a really basic blank canvas um, recipe. So if you don't like lemon zest, maybe a little orange zest or peppercorns, you can chop up nice fresh herbs and throw that in there. Um, I like to focus on recipes that you can interchange with whatever's available um, in your local area or to your own taste preferences. So blank canvas, if you don't like zucchini, you don't have to use zucchini. Let's if I like chocolate, I can use dark chocolate. chocolate. That sounds great. A little great. bit of bitterness goes a long way. So I'm going to give you this, Joel. Great. Because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Uh, that's your job. I would love to. Awesome. <laughs> They're already control. very dirty, so this works out great. I'm going to give you this, and I'm going to take this. Okay. Take the gorgeous. Good All right, you got to give your shot. <laughs> just drink. I think it's um. That was that. All right, so we're just yeah. doing this. Go okay. Here we go. Yep. Oh yeah. Doesn't that sound nice? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Kristen, Kristen, every time you say nudie, I want Joel to have a drink of that cocktail. So that's the callback for the night. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. I can't now. Nudie. Mm. Yeah. Mm, nudie. That's good monkey shoulder. <laughs> All right, so I have boiling water here. We're just gonna get this ready. 
uh, put a little bit of salt. The beauty of these nudies is that you can make these ahead of time, uh, roll them out, make little shapes, whatever you want, throw them in the freezer. I'm looking at myself on that, but I'm supposed to look at the camera. Um, oh. And you can keep them in the freezer. So Someone told me that. Oh, that's our camera. Oh, you could have just put it over the monitor. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, how's it? Does it feel? I think it's ready to go exactly. in. Here we go. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> Believed it. I did. Well, there's, uh, I believe I'm, most things that you do. That's something. Yeah, I know, which I'm is. Sorry. Am I, okay. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Don't, don't eat. It tastes it's great. It's just oh, disgusting. It's great. I feel like I'm in Italy. Okay. All right. So we're going to take a look. You can wash your hands. Or let the dog. No. No. That's not our dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take basically um, a little bit of this dough. And you can use a gnocchi board if you want to just do little round dumplings, you can do that. Mike and Judy, are you using a gnocchi board? They're not cooking at all. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take this, and we don't have a gnocchi board, which I don't know. I don't even have one at home, do you? I don't know. I didn't know there was a thing called yeah. a gnocchi board. So I feel like the easiest thing to do are just make You don't easy. need one. You're a professional. You, you won Top Chef. I did. Yeah, and then I'm just going to make little balls like this because I think that's the easiest way to do it. All right, I'll wash my hands again and then. But I'm going to have you start building the sauce. Oh, okay, yeah. great. So while well, I do this, easy Houston, we have lots of people that are drinking lots of monkey shoulder and they're a little intoxicated and they're asking you to slow the nudie process down. Oh. <laughs> Joel's drinking straight from the bottle right now, which is fine. Good monkey okay. shoulder. Okay. So I'm going to slow the process down. Okay, let's talk about the nudie for a second. If let's you are, if you're dairy free, you do. We can do this dairy free. So you could use your favorite cashew cheese. You could use um, the the a ball bearing. A, a, a ball bearing. Yeah. Um, vegan cheese products. There's a lot of them out there. You could certainly use that. Gluten free. You can use gluten free flour. You just might have to mess with the ratio just a little bit. Also, there's a thing in the chef world where we can cure these, where basically it's just egg and cheese, salt and pepper, and you cure them in semolina flour. That many products. For how long? Uh, a long time, over 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I figured okay. we didn't have that much time. Um, all right, so I will I slowly roll my nudes here. Your nudes? Did you get that? The nudes. There you go. Joel, your job is just to inhale the monkey shoulder. Perfect. It's working. Billy, uh, how many of those sport coats have people wanted to burn? Gold and silver are very questionable. But since it's the red campaign, Joel, we're going to just let it slide. Does your wife and uh, daughter like them? Like all of them you have? You've got a lot of them, right? I have, qu I have quite a few. Do you wear them? Billy, out? they're great. Billy, they're fantastic. It's Ooh. the best part. That sounds like Steph Kelly. Chef yeah, Steph sure Kelly is. joining us here tonight. Oh, chef. Hi, hi. hi. I, what you when I got on, I got. I'm sorry, I got on late. You said something about a dunkle, and a dunkle. I was like, wait, that's not a word I'm familiar with. A dunkle. A dunkle. Even worse. Even worse. A dunkle. <laughs> it's a small growth. If you had a great time in college. <laughs> it but sounds. It's a small. Wait. Go ahead. Of, um, you know, you, we always have our stem end on things, right? So the stem end of a vegetable, which is typically the harder piece that gets cut off. The underneath, where it's technically edible, but it kind of looks like a little belly button, that's the peduncle. Okay, I learned something. I can't wait to share that with my students. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great word to say, even if it wasn't true. I feel like we just need to get that going in the community, right? Oh, they'll love it. They'll love it. Thank you so much, yeah, peduncle. Right. character from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it, it is. It's a cousin to Gandalf is, you know, um, but yeah, Chris, we have, we have a lot of people making nudie out there. We're going to take some questions as well. Um, so we just want to make sure everyone is, is having a good nudie experience. So how's everyone's nudie experience right now? Kimberly Mosberg. Paul, can we spotlight Kimberly Mosberg? Let's see how she's coming along here and she has any questions. Hi. I don't know where to start. You're going so fast. This is not done. <laughs> it's very wet. Okay. So we have a lot of flour that we had to add. It's still wet. Yeah. You want it to be a little bit tacky because what's going to happen is as it's you, ruined. you take, yeah, 
That's right. That is hundred percent right. So when you dust when you dust the flour on your bench or your your table, that your nudie is going to pick up more flour. So you want to go a little bit less because you are going to incorporate more as you roll it. Up. Well, you and I waited in line for a bathroom once together, so I'm going to trust you. Oh, where? In Aspen. Oh, there's only one line. bathroom there. <laughs> there's only one bathroom in the entire city. <laughs> Did we talk? We did talk. It was right after you won, time. and then we went and danced with Marcus Samuelson. <laughs> that sounds like a fantastic time. Let's do it again this year. <laughs> Let's all pee together and then go dance with Marcus. So all perfect. Right, and eat some nudie. Kimberly, where are you from? Where are you guys visiting us from tonight? Chicago. I'm here with my friend Patrick. Also, all right, Patrick. Man. We love Chicago. Good luck with the nudie. Thank you. All right, we will be. We will check back in, Kristen and Joel. I am going to check with a couple other people right now. There's lots of people making the nudie. Uh, let's see. J let's see. Is it Janale Dorfler? I'm pronouncing that to totally wrong. Is that right? That's offensive. Oh, they are. Janale, and this okay. is my daughter Sloan. Hi, Janale and Sloan. Hello. Welcome to the show. How, how's the nudie making? So we got our, our board out. Well, they have the board. We started with the rolling. So we're almost, we're coming there. We're getting close. Is the dough so, doing okay? The dough's pretty good. Oh, can you show us how to use that board? Yeah, show us the board. Roll the nudie. Push your thumb into it. There you, there you go. go. So even, even we don't have a gnocchi board, but we could even use a microplane. It's really, the board is really just to get some grooves and shape. It's more of an aesthetic thing than anything. So we could even take... A nudie, a nudie here. Joel, have you ever rolled your nudie before? No, uh, now I got to drink it. <laughs> Sorry that there's kids that are watching this. D uh, drink responsibly. There are kids. Uh, okay, well, good luck with that. All right, on to the show. Uh, we will, Please put your questions in the chat, and I'm going to reach out to people that are making the nudie, and if you have questions, please don't be shy. Ask Chef, and Joel can't answer anything, but he will try. I definitely will. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Joel, from... what, was, what was nudie again? Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's like the inside of a ravioli, as I like to think about it. Oh. Um, I, I grew up with the ravioli family, so uh, I knew a lot about that. Okay, great. Yeah. Because in, in a normal ravioli feeling, we don't have to add egg or flour. Well, egg sometimes, but you don't have, you don't have, to, have to add flour because you don't need it to bind together because you have the wrapper of the pasta. So now that we're taking it out, the only real addition that you actually have to add is the flour in order for it to bind together. Okay. Because if there's not enough flour or you have too much moisture, depending on your ricotta, because you have low moisture, high moisture, all the different moistures, if it's not drained properly, you don't have enough flour, you go to dump it in here, they're going to go, it's going to fall apart. I just learned more in the last 20 seconds than I had learned in college. Oh. Uh, no joke. That's, that was encyclopedia. Well, thank you. Very impressive. It's, I'm a professional. How many people are watching, Billy? Thousands on the live stream, Joel. Thousands. You're a liar. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Is Hugh happy with how it's going? Do you think he got a like a tank top on now or something? Y Hugh will be in a tuxedo the next time we see Hugh Davies. Billy, really, let's take another question from uh, somebody who's tuning in. We are. Susan Bazarski, our good friend from Lupus LA. We love Lupus LA. Great organization. Uh, Kristen, they want to know, as vegans, what do you suggest as an egg replacement for a dish like this? So with something like this, you could even just add a little bit of other starch, so tapioca starch or potato starch, right? Because all an egg is is a protein binder. So you already have the flour, so you can just add a couple more starches. It's just like when you cook gluten-free bread or a gluten-free pastry, all the starches, corn starch helps bind, tapioca starch binds potato starch binds, um, you can just kind of mix, mix uh, different uh, powders, flowers, shall we call it. Different powders. Oh, starches was okay, the word I'm looking for. Thank you, yeah. Chef. <laughs> no, the like cooking version. It's like a... Yeah. The cooking version of cocaine. Uh, it's like Baker's <laughs> chocolate. It's Baker's cocaine. <laughs> so, yeah, you can, use, you can use different starches, and that'll all bind it together. Okay, that's great. Thank question. you. You're very welcome. Thanks for tuning in. They are tuning. If anyone has a nudie or at least one made, hopefully at this point, if you want to do a tester before you continue going on, you can dump it in boiling water. Let's oh. turn that 
up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Yep. And get it to a roaring boil. And then okay. I'm going to throw one in, just give it a little tester. Um, this is Billy's stove, so it's covered <laughs> in air spray. <laughs> it's hard to explain to get I mean, out. look at your air. Oh, yeah, this is. <laughs> you one stuff, and it's building <laughs> in haste, by the way. Paint them to get this out. <laughs> All right, that's, is that enough? Of no, oil? no, no, we need, so if we dump pasta oh, into non-boiling water, it's going to sink to the bottom and turn into glue. Right? Is that how glue is this stuff? A hundred percent. Oh, that's amazing. So glue stick is basically just the bottom of the pasta. And what did the Italians stuff? not come up with? <laughs> wow. All okay. right, so that's not there either. That, it's, it's getting there. Let me stir it. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Oh, my gosh. Um, I felt like you, you would have done that. Uh, can I do something? Billy, how are we doing with uh, everyone on the nudies? Should we start the sauce maybe? Before we go to the sauce, there's actually a, quite a few more other people. I see Mark and Sonia. Let's have Mark and Sonia chime in. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? How's the nudie situation going? Let's yeah. see yours. Here we go. We did hand shaped, but they're staying together. Yeah. And we have right. a test room. So here, look at this is my this is my nudie. Where's my close-up camera? Ah, looks good. Okay. Little, they're essentially little cheese dumplings. If oh we think about gosh, it. Oh my gosh, that's I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we have a lot of go here. If like you're only cooking for one person or two people, and this is too much, take the uncooked nudie and freeze it, and you can go dump it right from the freezer into boiling water tomorrow for lunch. Perfect. Okay. We're probably gonna eat all of it, but thanks for the tip. <laughs> Uh, so clearly you guys are Soundgarden fans? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Joel. Uh, Mark and Sonia, where are you joining us from tonight? From Ottawa, Canada. Ottawa, Canada. Yeah. Hi. Right. Joel, Joel works there at the Ha Ha Hole on Thursday nights in I'm Ottawa. There. Probably. They're not falling apart. I mean, you are I a, did my job right. Thank God. I mean, you're a professional. Woo. How often do you screw things up? Well, I'd rather not get that. Okay, I will. I, she doesn't want to say she screws up very much. There's only one time she's poisoned me. <laughs> I think that was you when you ate the green food coloring. Oh, that was. Remember, that was great. Oh yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. yeah, watch Fast Foodies, and you'll see me drink food, food coloring. coloring. It was awesome. Uh, so how long should these be in? Sometimes we're doing the test, guys. Yeah, we're not cooking them yet. It's just a test. A test. The new test. They're gonna float a little bit, so we'll just kind of let them hang. So when they're done, they float. Is that what you're saying? Sometimes, depending on the amount of air. So right. I don't want to just like a, like a statement. Yeah, like a corpse. Like or a no. Or a no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So see, oh yeah, see, they're, they're starting to bubble up and bounce to the top. So once they hit the top, very similar to gnocchi, you do want to give them a like a minute or two more just okay. for reinforcement. Um, but again, do not put any of your uh, nudies in the water that you are going to now consume later because we're going to build the sauce and then dump the nudies in as we're building the sauce and it all comes together at the same time. We're just, again, doing a test. I'm going to say what Billy said before the show is that Kristen is the very best chef Red has ever put on camera. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. For sure. Sorry, right. Sukern. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you, Joel. Anyone else out there with nudie questions? I see Glenn Gaynor making some nudie. Hey, Glenn, what's up, Glenn? Is this everyone's first time making nudie? This is Glenn Gaynor, first hey. time. It is the oh. first time doing this. We're we're having a blast. Scott's joined me here. Zach's joined me. Well, from Amazon Studios, and having a blast. Thanks, guys. All right, Amazon Studios. Good luck there making the nudie. Nice yeah. picture. Yeah. So I just want to everyone who's um, showing me the wet dough. I just want to re. I'm going to get a close reinforce up the statement that it does want you do want it to be tacky, right? So it's it's tacky. Tacky. It's like spackle. It is like spackle. spackle. You can drywall if you don't want to eat dinner, right, Joel? So those have been floating for yep. about thirty so seconds. So I think we can take this out and we can put them right there. Kristen, I have a question. Yeah. Someone asked in the chat, and I'm interested, um, if they're vegan, what would they use instead of egg? What would they use to help bind it? Right. Well, you that's have, yeah, you don't have to use the egg per se. So it's a different formulation of different starches, right? So a lot of vegan cheeses and a lot of vegan creams already have fillers and starches in them to kind of replicate that high fat emulsified creaminess. 
So once you add, to, you know, depending on what you use, if you use vegan cream cheese or vegan cream, vegan milk, you, you could get away with putting a little bit less of some of these starches or even trying it with just the gluten-free flour mix that already has starches in it, regardless if you're gluten-free or not. So it's like the gluten-free flour basically is buying like seven flours just in one bag. So you don't have a bunch of other random stuff. Okay. Or the gluten-free red after dark, uh, <laughs> which is the after show of this. Uh, <laughs> Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> and Joel's gonna make another uh, another cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Twelve. Nudie. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again with the nudie. It's the callback of the night. Sure. Yeah. You All can. Right. It might still gonna be a little warm, but oh no, hold on. Do you want to hold it and show the camera just? So All right. Can... Look at this, guys. I'll make it pretty. So here we go. Uh, look at that. So little poached cheese dumplings we just made. So they do stay together. They're really beautiful. And Joel will not taste one plain. Yeah, it looks like the egg sack of a spider. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes like it too. Yeah, delicious. No, it's just, so good. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so good. It's just like it's cheese. Yeah, it's, it's just cheese. freaking great cheese. Yeah. It's so good. So it's kind of like um uh oh what would you what would you Make a parallel assessment of flavor. Of what it tastes like? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say you can really taste the Parmesan. It's mm -hmm. like a wonderful melted Parmesan ball. Great. And uh, you can, and, and, you know, that. Like, uh, I remember like Parmesan goes on everything, but when someone first gave me a slice of Parmesan, I was like, oh, you can eat it this way? And I was like, this is the greatest. That's what it tastes like, except melting. Great. And then just imagine when we add all these toasty olive oil, butter, lemon. Um, Billy, how are we doing with, um, show, can we start building the sauce? Or yeah, we, we could definitely start building the sauce. Everyone is in uh, ready to go in the sauce mode. Some people are drunk, but that's okay. These are meant to be a good time for sure. So let's go to some sauce and we're going to see how this, how this great dish comes. Yeah. Joel's like, yep, that will be the sauce. Okay. All right. What am I doing with the sauce? All right. So, the sauce is probably one of the easiest sauces you can make. And again, if you don't want to make nudie and go through this process, buy your favorite store-bought pasta or make a beautiful polenta. Throw this on anything or even just make this and get a baguette and just dump right into it, okay. whatever you want to do. Okay. So we're going to turn on our pot to about a medium high. <laughs> and then yeah. you got to hit it there. Or, no. yes. oh. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of mousse, hair, hair gel and mousse on right here. There you go. Oh, I got that one. So I don't. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So you are basically going to take that one cup of olive oil. I know it seems like a lot, but you have a lot of new yeast. And again, you can make this sauce. One cup of olive oil. Go in. Yep. Go in. Okay. Exactly. We're going to get a little bit of heat on that. Great. Um, so you know your olive oil is ready when it starts to do a little dance, right? It looks right. A little sugary. Now, does it ruin the taste of olive oil to cook it or just changes it? Nope. So when you cook olive oil, the key is to not bring it to a smoking point. So when you bring it to a smoking point, it's overcooking and it turns into a bitter, like, gasoline. Right. Water. But people use it all the time in that capacity. Well, they shouldn't. If your olive oil smokes, you ruin the flavor. Do you hear that, folks? Don't. Let your olive oil smoke. You don't want to let it smoke. So we want to gently warm it. What the hell? Where's, where'd you come from? Um, <laughs> a can just came in. All right, so that's good. All right, so you can add the zucchini in. Even if you add the zucchini in and they don't start to immediately sizzle, that's totally fine. We're going to okay. bring it all up. So all of that zucchini. Would you wait a second or are you okay? I, I think we can do it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So a rule of thumb when you make pasta, the sauce will always wait for your pasta, the pasta will not wait for your sauce. You threw the peduncles in there. Uh, shoot. What do you call those again? A, a peduncle, a gununcle? Peduncle. Peduncle. Now, if someone, if someone says that doesn't exist, I learned it from a chef who learned it from another chef who learned it from another chef. So it's one of those passed down. Got it. Yeah, yeah. it started about 2000 years ago, the it passing down of peduncle. 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 It's yeah. a thing. <laughs> It is a real. I'm Paul chimes in for the first time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Australian guy off camera. It's like it is a real fire. 
Okay, so you can start to see the zucchinis start to bubble a yeah. little bit in the oil. In and then while you do that, I'm just going to thinly slice the garlic. Now, if you don't want chunks of garlic, okay, go ahead. you can throw the clove in and remove the clove and you just perfume the oil. Oh, okay. So, what like, about garlic powder? Uh, I would stay away from garlic powder for this. We want the point of this. It's too dangerous. It's too volatile. Okay. It's a lot of flavor. Ah, it's a lot. Interesting. Right? Yeah. And so, are you? Did we? Did you wait to cut this garlic until this very moment? I did. So, and I waited to cut the garlic because as soon as you cut garlic, it starts to oxidize, right? So, in oxidation, not only does it mean yes, like when bananas turn brown, but also flavors start to release in a different way. Right. So, this is going. You get a shot of that there, Ron. Call number two. Yeah. You got a great shot of it. So as our zucchini is starting to bubble, um, I want to see just a little bit of color around the edges before we add the garlic. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So in the winter time, this is really great. Instead of basil, use sage. Instead of uh, zucchini, use butternut squash. I right. mean, it's everything is... In Minnesota, butternut squash comes out in January. That's yeah. when it starts growing. That's really. when it's the most sweet. Yeah. Uh, can I roll more of these? Sure. All right. Okay. So we're starting to see a little bit of like that fried action happening. The edges are showing a little color. They're, they're looking a little like um, that crispy edge. Happening, okay. Right? So I'm going to take our sliced garlic, as little or as a lot as you want, depending on your flavor. Okay. Just some preference. I'm going to add the garlic. Now, once you add the garlic, this is where you really have to start paying attention because when garlic burns, it doesn't taste good. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's all it's poisonous. It's um basically. Okay. Yeah. It won't make your tummy feel good. No. We're sensitive about your tummy. I might have a diet of a, yeah, a bit of a sensitive. sour, sour, sour tummy. He takes a lot of pro probiotics. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah. Do you yeah. take probiotics? I do. Only when my wife reminds me to. Do they do anything? I think over time, it builds some form of... You think? Or we're just kind of I'm telling yeah, ourselves that. Okay. Okay. But I think we're also trying to aim for that probiotic... Um, Deal. Yeah, the double deal. Yeah. I just take a little diesel fuel. Okay, great. Just a little, just like a tincture. <laughs> a tincture. Okay. Yes, a tincture of diesel, and I feel great. Okay, so I'm just going to watch the garlic. Once that starts to turn nice and golden brown, I'm going to add the tomatoes. And what that does is it immediately stops the cooking process because tomatoes have moisture. Right. right, so it releases all that moisture. Like when you put tomatoes in an apple pie, and it can become like a soupy mess, right? A hundred percent, Joel. Yeah. Yes. I know what I'm talking about. Um, now, depending on if you bought toasted pistachios or untoasted pistachios, this is where we might deviate. If you bought untoasted, around now is a good time. So they fry out a little bit. If you bought toasted, let's wait to the end to add them. Because it'll overcook them. That's if correct. already toasted. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> so... We have salted and slightly toasted. Are you okay. okay. I heard that. Okay. Okay, I'll make it. All right, so now I'm going to add our pistachios because I thought they were toasted, but they're actually not. Oh. Um, and then chili flake, however you want to do it. Do you like it spicy? Was chili or? flake a traditional uh, Italian um, spice? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That is beautiful. That, that, not <laughs> that looks great. Yeah. And then we're going to get some salt and pepper. Season as you go. And honestly, if you did this out of order and you started with some tomatoes and add zucchini, at the end of the day, all the flavors are going to marry. Um, I always like to think of recipes as a, as a roadmap, not the final destination. Like it's just however you get to a place where you're happy with it. It taste good? Right, but they could have terrible taste and be like, well, this is well, ruined and I love it. But even if you have terrible taste, if you think it's good. Right? I don't know. It's good. Yeah, but don't you think that people should early on stick to recipes because somebody was like, this is how you make this thing. And then people are like, no, I'm doubling it. And then I'm going to cook it twice as long. But I feel like that's how we learn. It's around the taste, right? I agree, but if you have the recipe in front of you, <laughs> you might as well follow the recipe. I mean, obviously, you are a super professional chef, so uh, you have you've tried and uh, and you've worked it out over time. And so, uh, but uh, what? So that was some salt. I added. Some How much salt? salt? Um, a pinch. 
So I'm just going to season a little bit as we go. I'm also not going to worry too much about it because I know at the end I can do that final taste and add more. Do you find that sous chefs who are smokers add too much salt? <laughs> you don't. You don't. <laughs> She's like, that's a good question. I got one in there. I got one good one. Yeah, you, you got one. I want to check in, Kristen. We're going to check in. Marisol, you're back again. Hi, Marisol. Can you unmute yourself? Ta-da. We didn't answer this. Okay. Oh, hey, Marisol. Hi. Hi. Hello, Kristen. Hi, Joel. Big fan. Nice to see you. Bless Likewise. you. <laughs> where, are you where are you joining us from again? San Diego. San Diego. Oh, yeah. San Diego. Right. Lovely. How is cooking coming along tonight? How's the nudie? The nudie's the coming along all right. Uh, I'm still letting the zucchinis brown a little bit more before I add the garlic. Okay. Yeah, if you want to take it and super caramelize it, great. If you just want to soften it, again, totally up to you. But this is where mine is. I added a couple big leaves of basil, just perfume. Mm-hmm. You don't have to. And that basil can just cook like that. You're good. You put the stems in. Correct. All right. So if you can see that. Doesn't that look good? Oh, that looks great. Okay. So now I'm to a place where I kind of want to start thinking about I want to stop the cooking process. And to stop the cooking process, this is when we add the liquid, like I was saying. So the tomatoes, I'm going to add them in now. If yours aren't ready yet or you want your zucchini more brown, don't add them in them. Out of the tomatoes. So you now, so now this thing stops cooking. Well, the oil now drops from like 300 degrees to 200. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells good, and I'm not joking. I know <laughs> everything that comes out of my mouth sounds sarcastic <laughs> to the people that are watching. I can't help myself, but I'm not kidding. It smells so good. All right. We can confirm that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have some. We have some folks confirming that. Billy's like, daughter confirmed it. <laughs> My daughter confirmed it. Now, Kristen, this is obviously super seasonal, right? I mean, you can really just change with the seasons with the nudie and the pasta, correct? For your veg. One hundred percent. The nudies are great with like a hearty meat bolognese during the winter time. They're even yeah. really good if you just make them. Toss them with a little bit of grated cheese when they come out. Oh. Um, a little bit of black pepper. And serve it alongside maybe like a braised beef organ or something. Be really tasty. There's so many options. There's a lot of options. All right, so I've added the tomatoes. They're starting to soften a little bit. How long will those tomatoes? How long does it usually take for the tomatoes to soften? About 40 seconds. Oh. Yeah, because we're using little grape tomatoes. If your tomatoes are a little bit larger, it might take a little bit more. Okay. Uh, question. Is it hard? Yeah. Add the butter? I didn't. I don't think I saw when you guys added the butter. Did we add butter? Not yet. That's the last thing. Okay. Butter last. Got it. Invented butter. I don't know. Some very smart person. Yeah. With too much milk. Um, all right. So I'm going to add some lemon juice now. So again, if yours still needs the cooking, you want it to kind of cook down and caramelize a little bit more. Don't add the lemon juice. Again, in your own time. We're all going to get there. Don't rush the process. So a little lemon juice, because think about all that olive oil. You need to balance it out with some acid. Right. I was thinking right. about that olive oil, and I yeah. was like, oh, my gosh, what's Kristen going to do? How's she going to balance that out? Yeah. And here we there are. it is. All right, Joel, do you want to drop some nudies? Yeah. Are you Have you been asked that before, Joel? All right, so should I throw them in? Yep. So you can just, like, um, you have bigger hands in it. That's a, yeah, there's yeah. a different size. That's okay. Let's just dump them all in. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Beautiful. I like to burn myself. So. Yeah. <laughs> now get your hands a little closer to the boiling water, Joel. Here I go. Heard, here's the thing with Joel. Yeah. Okay. For you. All right, there we go. Okay, great. Joel, that was really beautiful. No, no, no. Yeah. All in there. I feel like after this, you all need to watch uh, Joel's episode of Fast Foodies and everything is this yeah. is normal. I try to redo a, I asked, I asked them to redo a Chicago hot dog. And uh, it was quite successful. Well, remember you said mine sucked? <laughs> I just say it, it was like a, 
tasteless disaster. Right. Yeah. That it was that well, an affront to God. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I mean, talk whatever. It was close. Same, same thing. All right. So I'm going to add my butter now. And is that salted or unsalted? Okay. Always unsalted. So we can add salt. And one thing about butter, right? People are like, well, the thing with um, the thing with salted butter is it's like, oh, well, you can add salt or you can take away salt, whatever, whatever. But honestly, it changes the flavor of the butter itself because salt is added for preservation, which basically sucks out moisture, which okay. cures fats. Wow. So yeah. you Did you get all that, Joel? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Salt is a preservative, which is why I eat two or three cups a day. <laughs> good to know. Okay. So oh, that was good. That was a Very fantastic... Good. Cocktail trailer. Yeah, really good really trailer. Good. <laughs> okay. Joel, I'm gonna have you taste this for salt, which I have a sneaky substitute. What? <laughs> I don't want it in my drink. <laughs> you have a sneaky subscription? <laughs> You're gonna oh what do you, oh you use a spoon. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Okay, so we're just gonna taste the, the fat portion just for the salt. I think we need all the butter. That goes with that. Thanks. Yeah, that, that was an obvious uh, cooking trick here, so. When in doubt. Oh, and I added the butter because you could taste the lemon. It was quite prevalent. And oh. it needed some rounding out. It was a little bit too thick. I thought it was terrific. Okay, great. <laughs> it really was very good, so. All right, so you can see all your little nudies. So see that one that you did? It's coming apart. You didn't roll it tight enough. Maybe it was one of yours. I That's big, so I know it's yours. Maybe two of them just smashed into each other. Two small ones that you made. Um, I would. I don't think so. Are you no. telling me uh, that, yeah, that you the professional yes. chef? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But just because I didn't vote for your version of the hot dog on fast food, all a ploy just to get back to get back on. Work it. So, yeah. so Kristen, Kristen, what's the cooking time on the nudie for people that are asking? So if you have giant hands like Joel does and roll them like little mini golf balls, you're going to need probably a little more time, three and a half, four minutes. If you have sweet little delicate hands like me that roll them to like, you know, the proper, the proper size. The end of a Q-tip. Um, it'll be about two and a half minutes. Okay. Good so to again, know. If you look in, you know, they're starting to come to be when they float to the top. So and then another minute after that. Yeah. So it's basically an internal timer that you have in your pot. How wonderfully convenient. Right? Okay. So, Joel, while those are finishing, okay. we are going to get our little bowls ready. Okay. This is where I feel bad for the crew and the <laughs> Billy's family. We're going to eat in front of you. They won't be eating. <laughs> so, do you have that slotted spoon again? That's not good. If we have one, great. If not, don't reach it. That's perfect. Thank you. You know what? It's a disaster. Really? You're going to gently come up, so please be careful. Do not. Do not. Do like, not do any fencing. Do not jam them. <laughs> oh, great. Here. Oh. Yeah. Boy, you couldn't see that. No, I couldn't. Oh, I was like, did not see that. Yeah, here we go. Okay. All right, while, while Joel's taking those out, just a reminder, everyone, I'm sure most of you are on social media, but please follow at Red on Instagram. They always ask. The nudie look amazing. And once again, for every $25 donation, the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation is matching that to 100 So I know, uh, yeah, not too shabby. So please, uh, Paul's going to put that link. Uh, executive producer extraordinaire, Paul Battagliano, put that in the link so people can donate. And once again, as Hugh told everyone, every dollar, if it's $25, 2500 25000 makes a dramatic difference and all the money now is going towards COVID relief. So thank you for everyone who has donated. All right. So I took on some nudies out. I just, this way we're going to plate it. I put the nudies in the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to take some of this beautiful sauce. It's really good. And if you don't like um, pistachios, a really great um, second choice, in my personal opinion, would be walnuts. Oh, I'm going to say so, Jolly Ranchers. Or Jolly Ranchers. Gummy bears also. Mm, like a Sour Patch Kid? Yeah. yeah. I like the Haribo. Are you bears. sure you're not a chef? 
Thank you for yeah. saying that. Yeah. Sorry. If you do follow Joel on Instagram, though, you will see that he's actually quite a very good cook, and he's downplaying his Now it's embarrassing because you said something nice, and, and now also, I don't know what to do. I'm going to say something even nicer. He is sarcastic and is, you know, crazy this one is. Um, He's actually very sweet and very kind and yep. takes a lot of compliments. I know I'm ruining your shit. Right, right. Go. Yeah, these are just lies right now. <laughs> lies. <laughs> I can just make fun of Billy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He looks like, he looks like uh, Buddy Holly in hell. <laughs> I am just here for the abuse, ladies what and gentlemen. All right, so I... What happened to his face? <laughs> Some of that beautiful sauce, Joel, if you want to grab a couple leaves of basil. Oh, yeah. We've made quite a mess over here, haven't we? No, well, no. Are, are you making additional for the uh, for down here in the studio and for the children upstairs in the kitchen? Yeah, totally. We have we have your family covered. Okay, great. What about the crew? They get anything? <laughs> no, it's no. Sorry, guys. All right. I got four, I got five plates for them. Oh, look, we just got to sauce them up. Yeah. All right, so you're going to take these. Okay. And just you tear or torn, tear. Torn? I didn't go to school. <laughs> torn, basil. You didn't go to chef school? I did, actually. Which one? Yeah, but I skipped the English portion of it. I went straight for the French. You know? which, which cooking school did you go to? I went to Cordon Bleu in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Chicago. Mom right. and dad, mom and dad, they chose right for me. They, they paid for it? Um, no, I had to actually be a responsible human and, and go into college debt and then pay it off. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let me bring my close up because okay. it's really pretty. Yeah, this is the close up right now. This kind is. of. Little. Look at that money. Wait. Hold that there. I'm taking a photo down here. Keep holding that photo. Boom. Bam. Everybody's looking good. Joel's taking pictures. Everyone's taking pictures. Good job, team. It so it good amazing. in here. Oh. It smells like Billy's cologne, <laughs> which is overwhelming usually. Overwhelming. That's it. It's a summer. It's a beautiful summer pasta dish. That's quite simple, and um, it's everyone involved. Oh. Kids can make it. Adults can make. Adults can make. My kids will not be it. making it. They'll be like, "We're gonna play some Fortnite. See ya." But you can make it. Okay. Now, everyone wants Parmesan, right? Yes. A little great action. Just leave the little one for Billy. <laughs> <laughs> While you are grading, let's see if there's any final questions. Any final questions? Because you guys can unmute yourself. We've given you that power tonight. God. Yeah, God help us all. I see Tony Lopez eating in the kitchen there. Let's see. How do we feel? How does everybody feel? I got thumbs up. I got Tony Lopez thumbs up. George and Bridget are just drinking right there. Meredith in Dallas. How's it going, Meredith in Dallas? She's eating the nudie. You can unmute yourself. How's it going? It's okay. delicious. I did the gluten-free version, and it turned out fabulous. Well, that's great to hear. Gluten-free version turned out fabulous. Tony Lopez, how's everything? Great, our neighbor uh, Robert popped in. You're in on camera, so come you're back here. Come over here. Oh, the neighbor popped in. Billy, you can come. Billy, you want to come up here? Well, I am going to come up. I'm going to come upstairs as they say goodnight from down here. So, um, everyone joining us here tonight, we really want to thank you for our, our, our Red Cook Along series, these four amazing dinners over the past week. Obviously, ending tonight with my good friends Joel McCall and Kristen Kitch. It was a great, great night. This was the nudie tonight. Um, thank you for that. There's Georgie Harris on camera. You're doing good, G-Money. Here comes the crew on camera right now. Uh, thank you, Charlotte Voicy and the William Grant team for all these amazing the camera, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's grabbing the cameras now. Hugh Davies, thank you so much. People that have joined us from France, Italy, Spain, Australia all week. Um, thank you all for spending a few moments please make sure you donate to the red campaign like every dollar yeah. helps thank you hugh thank you mckenzie thank you dindy thank you susan bazarski and family bob oh. and carol levy 
the best golf producers in the business, that's for sure. And um, really appreciate everyone joining us. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. And everybody have a great night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you, Emmy. Thank you, Billy. We look forward to your sermon later on. <laughs> Sermon will be later on tonight. I think that's what you said. I don't know, but it's all good. I'm coming up for some nudie. Yeah. Coming home for some nudie. Right. Coming home for some nudie. Right. Right. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks, Charlotte, for everything. Thank you. Great cocktails. Thank you, Steph Kelly. Everyone else on here tonight, Glenn Gaynor and the Amazon team. Rachel Greenfield. Hi, Rachel Greenfield. Jen McNabb, thanks for being here. This is kind of a low key. Thank you, you dressing up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm coming up to the kitchen now. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Free aprons for everyone. Exactly. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The next one. Yeah, we need like some can music. You sing? Can you sing? Can you sing? I, I can't sing at all. Right to that music? Yeah. With Bono. Bono will be here next week, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. All right, I'm coming up for some nudie. Joel Malayal. It's usually uh, like Joel McCall. Oh. Or Joel McCall. Oh. And Joel, did you capitalize the H? Or Joel McRae, who was an actor from the 40s and 50s. Are we still alive? People are still here. No, we're we are still alive. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, no, I don't know. Why. Wait, you can't just leave. Hang on. Stay. Oh, I'm still here. Oh, Billy, really? come up to eat. I am coming up to eat. They just sent me a technical thing from the live stream. Am I supposed to end this or not yet? Hi, everybody. Global Vice President of Food and Beverage for Standard Cloud. <laughs> yeah. Very important job. Who's that? Yeah, who's that? Oh, standard? Oh, we need to make her. Yeah.